Hi everyone, um, just a quick vlog here. Tonight is a special night for me. Well, today it's our 31st wedding anniversary, so well done me and my hobby. Uh, tonight we're not actually going out to celebrate because there is a ladies club event on. Now in our locality, we have a ladies club with about a membership of 20 to 30, which we meet once a month and we enjoy a get together, a chat, a cup of tea, so tonight we're organising a fashion event. There is a lady in a town nearby who has a lovely boutique and she's bringing out clothes and she wants five of our members to model the clothes and we're inviting outside people to come in and have a look. So guess what? I'm one of the models. <laughs> I decided, well, I was asked at the meeting. I'm chairperson this year of our ladies club. And when the subject was brought up about models, who would model, of course, I was asked, will you model? So I said, I mean, yes, I'll give it a go. I've never done anything like that in my life. And I feel now over 50 is the time to face your fears and do it anyway. So I'm going to go out there tonight and strut my stuff <laughs> and see what happens. Mostly the audience will be made up of many women I know and friends so it's not as difficult as going into a strange place. The only problem is we do not know yet who's or what type of clothing we're wearing. The lady who owns the shop all she required from us before tonight was our hair colour and our size. So it should be a good night and I'll try and get one of my friends to take some photos and show you some snaps of some of the outfits. Um, there you go, face your fears and do it anyway. So actually I will show you some items I have. I've, I'll show you first of all what I'm wearing today, then I'll show you what I'm wearing tonight to go down to the event, and then I'll show you some of the shoes I have to bring with them. Now I am a shoe person, and the lady again, I keep calling her the lady, her name is Gronya. Gronya requested that each model bring two pairs of shoes one black and one nude. So I'll show you what I've picked out and we'll see what you think of it. Thanks for watching. So here we go. This is what I was wearing today. I was very busy getting ready for the event. We all had to make cakes. So cakes had to be made, speeches had to be written and different little prizes for the raffle had to be sourced. So it's just a black and white top. It's a viscose top, nice length of sleeve hiding my bingo wings, as they say. Um, just um, slim trousers, nice feel to them. They're thicker than leggings, so they're not really leggings. They have a nice seam down the front, and they're very comfortable to wear. And my high, my long boots, they're not high, actually. They've got quite a low heel, and I could walk and spend every day in them because they're very comfy. So here we are at the back, and here we are back again at the front. So, very comfortable outfit. I'll show you now what I'm going to wear tonight. Back again. So here is my outfit that I'm wearing down to the fashion event tonight. It is just a plain black tank top, um, a nice graphic print cardigan, quite light and airy over the top. And on the bottom, I'm wearing my favorite skirt. This is a long skirt. <laughs> Maybe you cannot see it very well there, but it's long, but it has a lovely slit up the back. And um, it's my favorite skirt. I have it maybe about two years. So just a pair of low heel boots on the way down. So that's my outfit to wear down. Now I'll show you my shoes. First of all, here's a close up of my little black boots. Quite simple. It's raining outside tonight, so at least it should keep me a little bit dry. These ones here are my black high heel shoes. She has requested that um, we just bring a black and a nude pair. So these are the blacks. So hopefully they'll do. They're actually on loan from my daughter, so I was very lucky to get them. Now, oh, back again. These are my nude shoes. Um, I have those maybe two years again. They have a little peep toe and I hope that won't 
cause a problem. They have a tiny little platform at front, which I really love, and it makes them very comfortable. I have a little heel grip at the heel just to hold them in place, but I really like them. They're very, very comfortable, so hopefully they do the job. Now these, these are probably not going to do, so I don't think I'll bring them. They're my taupe shoes or my knee colored shoes. They are extremely comfortable, but no way could I say they were nude. So I think I'll just be leaving these ones at home. Now my final pair are the sparklies. I love these shoes. Again, they're on loan from my daughter, who actually bought them for her wedding last winter, but um, decided to wear different ones on the day. So they're very comfortable. So. I would be I would be able to walk in them. I think I'd be able to walk down the cat ramp. I'm not sure. They are a bit sparkly though, so I'm not sure whether they will do the trick. But I'm going to bring them anyway and see. So thank you very much for watching my little mini shoe haul. And uh, I hope to have some photographs and post them and let you know what I was wearing and how the whole night turned out. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and a comment on the outfits or what you think I should have worn would be very very grateful for that so thanks again bye bye hi again I forgot to mention that I got my hair done in the local salon today especially for the event so I asked her to do something different with it so she flicked out the back a little bit and she gave it a little bit of body up on top I'm very pleased with it and it's just unfortunate that it is such a wet night. I have to go out. I'll have to be very careful and keep it dry. Here's a look at the back of it. And the other side. The only problem is, I wonder would I be able to do it as well as this myself. Anyway, we shall wait and see. Take a look at my makeup and tell me, is it over the top? Maybe the light here now isn't the best but um i did it myself now my foundation is just a rimmel foundation i put on very very quickly it was very pale so i decided to cover it up with a benefit foundation a hello flawless so that'll kind of give it a bit more color on my eyes now i use the naked palette so a lovely shade of brown and the silvery white on my lips it's another rimmel lipstick and if you're interested in any of these i'll get the colors and i'll write them down below in the information box but hopefully it's not over the top i figured if i'm going to be walking down <laughs> walking down that cat ramp i better put on my face mask and face the crowd face my fears and do it anyway so look thanks for watching again i'll let you know how the night turned out and I'm looking forward to it. It's good for me. Bye-bye.